We are ready to go. A few months ago, I made a video about how the ocean cleanup finally proved it could clean the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. Now, they've taken a step back from the ocean itself to engineer something even more powerful. As you may already know, the Great Pacific Garbage Patch is a swirling mass of plastic waste, three times the size of France. For years, the ocean cleanup has been fighting to remove it, and they actually proved it works. In facilities in the Netherlands and South Africa, the team is testing a new generation of cleanup technology. Drones powered by AI, 3D printed ocean debris replicas, and precision engineering that could help them clean the oceans 10 times faster. This isn't just an upgrade, it's a revolution in how we fight plastic pollution. And it's happening right now. We'll get to the drones soon, but first, here's why this year might be the ocean cleanups most important yet. At first glance, it might seem strange. Why stop cleaning when millions of tons of plastic are still floating out there? But as founder Boyan Slat explained, this pause is strategic. The team realized that to truly clear 90% of ocean plastic, they needed to go beyond collecting waste. They needed to perfect the system. And that meant testing every detail in a place where they could control the environment, measure performance precisely, and iterate fast. That place is marine, the Maritime Research Institute in the Netherlands, a facility holding over 2 million gallons of water, capable of simulating real offshore conditions. Here, engineers recreated the chaos of the Pacific, waves, wind, currents, but in miniature. It's called basin testing, and it's giving them something they've never had before. The ability to see, in slow motion, exactly how plastic behaves inside their system. To do this, they built a 1 to 10 scale model of their massive cleanup barrier. Every piece of debris, every current, and even the density of plastic has been recreated. Instead of throwing random materials into the water, the team 3D printed exact replicas of ocean plastic, designed to float, sink, and drift, just like the real thing. By adjusting the printing temperature, they can change the density of each object, letting them simulate barrels, bottles, or even microplastics. These tests reveal how and when plastic might slip under or over the system's wings, something nearly impossible to observe in the middle of the Pacific. And every test brings them one step closer to a more efficient, high-retention design, a system that catches more plastic with less energy and time. Meanwhile, on the other side of the world in Buffels Bay, South Africa, another team is pushing the boundaries of aerial detection. They're flying drones equipped with AI-powered cameras, infrared sensors, and optical systems capable of spotting floating plastic from kilometers away, even at night. Why does this matter? Because the garbage patch isn't one solid island of trash. It's a vast ocean filled with drifting plastic hotspots. Finding them is like looking for moving targets in a sea the size of a continent. Until now, ships had to rely on guesswork and surface observations, but with machine learning algorithms trained on satellite data and partnerships with Amazon Web Services, the ocean cleanup is developing a system that can scan the ocean in real time, predicting where the plastic will move next. These drones act as scouts, scanning ahead of the cleanup vessels, steering them toward the most concentrated zones of waste, it's like turning the entire Pacific into a mapped, living dashboard of plastic density. All this data doesn't just stay on the surface. It feeds into what they call ADIS, the Automated Debris Imaging System, an onboard AI that catalogs every piece of plastic collected. With each haul, it learns which shapes, colors, and materials are most common, refining the algorithms that detect new debris from the sky. This fusion of robotics, AI, and oceanography means that the ocean cleanup is no longer just cleaning, they're learning. Each mission makes the next one smarter, and the results could ripple far beyond the garbage patch, from rivers, like those captured by their Interceptor 006, to future collaborations with coastal governments. This technology could eventually stop plastic before it ever reaches the sea. So yes, the ships might not be in the Pacific right now, but beneath the surface, 
The biggest transformation in ocean cleanup history is underway. When the team returns, they won't just be collecting plastic, they'll be targeting it with AI precision, guided by drones and powered by real-time data from the cloud. Each improvement brings them closer to their ultimate goal, a 90% reduction in floating ocean plastic, achieved through global partnerships, smarter engineering, and pursuit of progress. The ocean covers 70% of our planet. It gives us the air we breathe, the water we drink, and life itself. And while humanity caused this mess, it's also humanity that's now building the tools to fix it. If you enjoyed this update, make sure to subscribe. It helps me keep creating videos like this, and it tells YouTube you want to see more stories about the technologies shaping our future.